today I'm going to teach you how to do something that's kind of quick and fun to do either with your halyards, not while you're sailing, okay, but when you are at rest at the dock and you have a line that you just want to pretty up a little bit. I'm going to show you how to do a flake. Right, so first, a very big piece of line. And I have an enormous one. And this one is really big. So the trick is that you're going to take this line and make it into a big oval. This is, of course, going to attract cats. So just be aware. The easiest is if you start from the inside and work your way out. course that means whatever kinks you have are going to be worked back to wherever you were. Can you even see what I'm doing? <clears throat> Still not. Okay, like I said, this is going to be really exciting for any cats that you have in the area. And we'll see how it goes with this line. Now we're finally ready. <laughs> and you can't see my whole line. <laughs> and the cats are going crazy. Alright, now you can see. Maybe I'll do it this way so that you can see more of it. Alright, so your first step, and I've heard this called faking a line and I've heard it called flaking a line, whichever one you want to call it or if you know for sure which one it's called, let me know in the comments below. This is an old halyard from a big old Hudson, so it's really long. It's the halyard that I used last week when I was pressure washing the roof. That's why it looks nice and clean now. I used it along with my inflatable PFD to keep me from falling off the roof. And yes, it would actually keep me from falling off the roof because I had my line pretty tight, so I only had enough play. You don't have to have this many turns. It doesn't have to be this big. It can be however you like it. It just depends on how much line you have left over at the dock. And if you want to make it look something fancy, and of course, this is a circle that's going to attract things like cats. All right. So the easiest is to simply make a figure eight out of it. And all you have to do is carefully run one side over the other. That's pretty fancy, isn't it? Now if you want to go even fancier, you could do some type of a double twist like this. Or you twist it back a couple times. Completely up to you. Usually I just do the simple eight because it's really fast. You can accomplish this in under 30 seconds and it looks like you did something that took a long time. People like the looks of it. I mean you could you could then take half the lines and go back that way with them. You could experiment with this and do all sorts of things with it. Now that I look at it, it looks sort of like a racetrack, doesn't it? <laughs> looks like one of those Mattel tracks. <clears throat> if you could make it so that you hide the end of your line, that sure needs to be whipped, doesn't it? Underneath. That would be good practice. Dress your knot. There. It's just very, very attractive. Looks like you spent a lot of time on it. Actually doesn't take any time at all. Maybe 30 or 40 seconds. And you can kind of neaten it up. And yes, I know it probably exposes more line to UV rays. It probably makes the line hold moisture longer. Probably does all sorts of things like that. 
it's kind of pretty. So that was your really quick how to fake a line <laughs> tutorial to make your dock look festive this holiday season. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the content. Let me know if you have any comments below. Please share and subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. P.S. Here's the best thing about this. When you're done and you're ready to hang the line or use it, you've only got that one step. Oh, yeah. You've only got the one step to open it back up and hang it. <laughs>